All right, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel, AutoCAD Conizer. I'm your instructor, your coach, your friend, Ranjan Sharma. And today I'm back with a brand new video on Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah, you heard it correct. It's the famous Brooklyn Bridge. Look at it in states in the New York City. And uh, from past so many days, uh, people have been asking me that uh, is it really possible to convert the JPEG images directly to the CAD file? I mean to the I mean to the .dwg file. Of course, yes, my dear friends. Now it's possible, but apart from so many years, it wasn't possible. Now there are various online uh, converters available where you can directly convert the JPEG image to the CAD. Uh, CAD file that is uh, the DWG of course JPEG means joint picture expert group and dot DWG means simple drawing an AutoCAD file extension all right friends so here I have uh, the image the JPEG image of course this is a raster image you can just select it I can just show you if you go to the properties it will show you this this is a raster image there is no fix nothing hidden from this and uh, uh, I have inserted this uh, image, this particular image from, uh, uh, you know, yeah, I have inserted this in AutoCAD by using the image attach command. So image attach is present over here. You go to insert and there is something called attach. So you can read down the uh, tooltip also. That is, you can always insert an XREF image, DWF uh, or a point cloud, any kind of image which is uh, uh, you know available uh, and I pay my special thanks to this photographer it's a lovely pic it's a brilliant brilliant work by uh, sorry I don't know your name and um, but uh, this pic helped me out to even trace the polylines on it and a generator proper CAD file a proper CAD file here you can see I have used the polylines see this is a proper polyline okay it took me uh, not very long but uh, it took me some time to prepare this all AutoCAD drawing so this is the hash pattern as well you can see this so I have done this what we were talking about is it really possible to convert the JPEG images to uh, DWG formats yes it is my dear friends my dear students it is always possible I'll be taking up this video in two parts in the first part I'll be taking up I have a drawing uh, I have a drawing this drawing by the name of uh, Brooklyn Bridge JPEG online there are two drawings I have opened so this is the uh, raster image this is a JPEG image which I have downloaded from Google and I have gone online and converted this into this AutoCAD file so this is the result how to convert it and what what online converter I am using I am going to prepare a different video for that but in this video I am going to make a comparison beautiful comparison but is it very okay to convert to go online and convert the things to convert a JPEG image or it is best and better to trace the uh, JPEG imagery now for this if you have a any JPEG image any JPEG image whatsoever maybe of a bridge maybe of a building maybe of a car of a mechanical object of a person you can always directly go online and there are various online CAD platforms AutoCAD you know conversion platforms where you can uh, convert it, your JPEG file to the AutoCAD file now you can see this result this this file has been converted now you, when you see this these are the suspension cables but these are no more lines this can be converted into spleens how do you spell that As some people say spleen or spline or whatever feel like and and you can always no doubt it is a, a pure CAD file and you can just uh, uh, you know move those things maybe, maybe you can just distort the geometry or whatever you feel like I can you can you can say fit or whatever you feel like but I'm not really uh, convinced by this this conversion because all the entire geometry if you say this all the entire geometry has been distorted if you go here lines are no more lines even the edges of the bridge then which are supposed to be line when we prepare a CAD file so this is the result and even if you go to the railing part the crosses everything has been converted to spleens see see the splines no hidden it's pure work 
I um, it's always you know uh, I think that I should you know serve a pure thing to my students to the people so that they, they get they may not get confused and you can see you can match it you can just keep it here and you can see see it is exactly same but the result is not very good okay now let's talk about the second part in the second part I am taking up the second file I have which is named of by the name of Brooklyn Bridge also and in this file what I have done is listen carefully pay attention I have inserted this image now you can see this if I uh, press the pan button it vanishes no of course it is always possible now I have traced the polyline over this over the edges of the Brooklyn Bridge even the arch arches even the sus suspension cables you can see this and I have got this result you see see it's a polyline I have traced them beautifully it took me so long but I'm happy with the end result even I have used the hatch patterns you can see and you can color them you see I can you can uh, assign some color to it maybe uh, some red maybe some uh, magenta color and you can go to the match properties and you click here and you click here and you get the things done so make sense and how I have done this I'll tell you I before starting this video this entire JPEG image was placed on this so you can just select this and say move move and you can take the entire JPEG image on this okay you can say save and now what are you going to do is you are ready you can select a polyline maybe black this is uh, the Brooklyn Bridge you can select a polyline and you can start working this is so easy see maybe maybe some some line over here maybe this line maybe pick another line And you can always use the trim command tr enter I have used a simple commands trim extend circle arc and I have made this so when you press the mouse wheel you will see the pan you see how beautiful it is even you can just you know uh, trace some more cables over here and pick it up cable and you can just start drawing I have just drawn some for you I'm just taking in this video that I'm showing the real thing this pure thing nothing here that nothing uh, super close and you can just always say trim command and you can trim that so make sense hmm? I hope this is clear to you so what I want to propose is that it is always good it is always good you know to trace a uh, JPEG image to AutoCAD file because you can see the results the results are too very good and uh, it makes it shows your expertise also and your dedication towards AutoCAD but but uh, there are there may be friends uh, all around the world who uh, think that that there is a shortage of time okay we can go online and uh, convert the things it's okay with them I'm not against that but my job is to uh, do the uh, particular comparison that the quality the quality of the CAD drawing would be only good if you actually trace it the JPEG image and if you want to go online also you can go online and uh, how to actually convert the JPEG image to online that I'll be taking up in a different video uh, maybe shortly in a day or two I'll be posting that also but uh, that's all for today's video please comment in the comment section what uh, if you want that I should improve myself or imp improve the quality of that how you, you please suggest me that I'll prepare a video that how all what we what else we can do to improve the quality of the CAD file okay so that's all for today's video and please my dear friends Please subscribe to my channel and please view these videos. I just, I'm just, uh, you know, uh, it's my 
I am preparing this uh, videos for the very noble cause that uh, the students and the people who don't have uh, the access to the tutors they can always have benefit from my videos. So please like and share my video, and thanks for watching. Bye bye. Happy drafting. Take care.